guests, will you please be upstanding for our honoured guest, the Minister of Advanced Education, Honourable Ida Chung. Do you think, what do you think about like just sleeping outside, like people having some legal right to sleep outside? Well, again, that is something that uh, would have to be determined by the authorities. That is something, as you can appreciate, that the cities have bylaws that they're empowered to, to put in place, and they won't want to hear from their citizenry as to how to address that. As a government, we that. are, in fact, trying to address that. Certainly, it's something that might have been something that should have been addressed years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but as a new government, our first term, we absolutely believe that uh, we can raise awareness, we can find ways to deal with that. Uh. timeless commitment to charities here on Vancouver Island. It has been decreed by Rotarians that you should be awarded the highest honour in Rotary, a Paul Harris Fellowship named after our founder. In the words of Rotary's motto, service above self, we ask you to please accept this award on behalf of all British Columbia Rotarians. God bless Canada and God save our Queen. You know, we recognize that there is a homelessness issue and our government has, in, in this province, are trying to address that by uh, the Premier having struck a homelessness task force where mayors from a number of the cities where homelessness uh, appears to be becoming a greater concern, so uh, bringing them together and trying to address this. In our recent budget, we've just added some more dollars toward that. We're working with the federal government as well. It doesn't cost anything to not kick a sleeping guy and it doesn't cost anything to have a kitchen that has the loving support of the community.